So good morning. This is a, um, a quick video on the connecting uh, sine and cosine to tangent. So we, um, in the last video, you learned about the uh, um, why the um, wrapping function is important <clears throat> because we can use the wrapping function, our knowledge of the wrapping function, to evaluate sine and cosine. So. Um, so just to remind you, um, remember the wrapping function uh, is a function that we plug in an angle in a unit circle and we get out the coordinates um, of the point where the terminal side of the angle crosses the unit circle. And then we learned um, last video that um, cosine, oh, that cosine and sine, sine is the opposite of hypotenuse um, in a right triangle and cosine is the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse in a right triangle. So if I'm looking at a unit circle and um, looking at say this angle here, 150 degrees, then the wrapping function 150 degrees means I'm looking for the coordinates of that point right there. So we drop the triangle and we realize because this is 150 that this has to be 30 which means this is 60 which means that's 90. so we know the coordinates of this point are the long side of 30 60 90 is rad 3 over 2 and i'm going to the left so it's negative the short side of a 30 60 90 is one half and it's going up so it's positive so that would be the result of the wrapping function at 150. Um, but then if we take the sine of 150 that um, is a sign, remember, is opposite of hypotenuse. But since hypotenuse is 1, because we're talking about the unit circle, that means that um, sine of 150 in this case would just be the opposite. So that would just be 1 half. Cosine of 150, um, for the same reason as sine was 1 half, we know that cosine would be that, that um, coordinate. So that would be negative rad 3 over 2. And so that's, in theory, you already know that. We talked about that. And um, you definitely want to practice, be practicing, getting better and better at those, find your way around the unit circle, and um, being able to evaluate sine and cosine. So one other piece we want to add to that is the tangent function. So tangent is just another ratio in right triangles. So the tangent is happens to be the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So, um, which is kind of interesting because notice if you take uh, sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse, and divide it by cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is canceled out and notice you just get opposite over adjacent. So we also notice that um, because of that, that tangent can also be described as sine of theta divided by cosine of theta. And this is really probably the better idea because uh, one of the things I say about this class, this Math 142, is it's, it's really a study of sine and cosine. And uh, if you get to know sine and cosine really, really well, it pretty much takes care of the rest of the class as long as you understand the relationship of everything else to sine and cosine. So that's why this is a really important identity that a tangent is the same thing as sine divided by cosine. So if we add to this little mix down here, what is the tangent of 150 degrees? Well, we know that's just sine over cosine. So that means it's one half over um, negative rad three over two. And of course, if we flip that over and multiply, we get negative 1 over rad 3. So, um, so really what you want to do now is just start practicing this thing. So uh, you should be able to, if I ask you what sine of 5 pi over 4 is, or cosine of 7 pi over 6, or tangent of... 330 degrees uh, without a calculator or any kind of a pre-drawn unit circle, you should be able to evaluate those. So, wow, that was an ugly four, wasn't it? 
So again, the process is I draw a quick little unit circle off the top of my head. Five power four is down here in the third quadrant. And that means that I'm looking for the uh, vertical leg of the 45, 45, 90 triangle. That would be one over rad two. And since it's going down, it must be negative. So then for the cosine of seven pi over six, I swing around here and there's a seven pi over six is a little bit past pi. So that'd be right in there somewhere. Um, and that's a 30, 69 triangle. And so um, I know that cosine is the long leg. So this would be rad three over two. And since I'm going to the left, it must be negative. So put a little negative there. And then finally tangent of 330. Again, I draw a quick little unit circle, draw my lines. 330 is right about there. It's almost 360. And this also forms a 3069 triangle with a reference angle of 30 degrees. Um, and so that I know that, um, well, the wrapping function, we know that that's going to be uh, rad 3 over 2 comma negative 1 half, right? So, and remember, tangent is both sine and cosine. So I'm going to have a negative one half on top and a rad three over two on the bottom, which reduces to negative one over rad three. So if you look on the, um, well, the next item in the itinerary, if, if you go into um, that, you'll notice that the, there's a page there that has a, a link to a bunch of um, little practice quizzes that really give you opportunity to practice this evaluating sine, cosine, and tangent. So that's how you want to spend your time now is getting really good at those. All right.